In this tutorial we are going to cover cleaning up drill down images within the Hermes Suite resource library. We are currently looking at line 1. As you can see some of the machines on this line already have hotspots defined. Whenever you click on some of the images you'll find that you're taken to the multiple hotspots choice window because some overarching areas such as the CAN conveyors and the PAC conveyors cover several of the smaller machines. In this case you can see both tray packers are covered by the pack conveyor area and down here you can see that the CIP and blender area and filler area are covered by the CAN conveyors. This is because the CAN conveyors cover such a large area on the image and the pack conveyors cover such a large area on the image. The question becomes how do we manage this? We have found through time and experience that the best way to do this is to have an area of text in the clear space up here that says can conveyors and another bit that says pack conveyors and then move these large overarching hotspots up to the text that you can place up here. To do this you need to get the image that is currently displayed and use any image editing software you have to put some text on the image. There are numerous ways of getting the image that is currently displayed. One is to right click, view just the frame that's currently shown and select the image. Another way is if you have this image stored in a library somewhere is to pull that image out of the library but by far one of the easiest ways to do it is to directly access the image within the database. The easiest way to get the image that is currently displayed is by modifying the address at the top of the address bar. You can currently see that the address we are at is trlview.aspx question mark id equals 8. To get at the image that is currently being viewed change this to DB image and then change the ASPX to ASHX. When you do this the image will be displayed without any of the hotspots. Now that I've changed the address in the address bar you can see that the image is displayed on its own and none of the hotspots that were previously visible are active. To save this image so that we can edit it we simply right click on the image select the save image as option and save it to the hard disk. We can then open up that image in our favourite image editing software and enter two text boxes one for CAN conveyors and one for PAC conveyors. Here you can see the image that we started with which still has CAN conveyors and PAC conveyors defined. And Here you can see the image as I've edited it I now have an area for CAN conveyors and an area for PAC conveyors. What I wish to do is to replace the active image with this new image that I've created. The way we do this is by going to locations on the main address bar, selecting maintenance and then the TRL tree maintenance. The tree view on the left represents the technical resource library's hierarchical structure. The area on the right is where the current selected node is displayed. We need to get to the image for line 1. Therefore we drill down. Two red boxes one inside of the other represent the hotspot. In this case this will be the line 1 hotspot on the all lines image as shown here. We continue to drill down because we need the paintbrush which represents the actual image itself. Here you can see the image. To replace this image, we simply go onto the hard disk, locate the image that we've just created and upload it. You can now see that CAN conveyors and PAC conveyors have been defined. The next step is to move the hotspot for CAN conveyors and the hotspot for PAC conveyors away from these overarching areas and up to the text boxes in the top left of the screen. From the hierarchical list on the left hand side of the page, select CAN conveyors. Then move the hotspot so that it only covers the CAN conveyor text and apply the changes. Now move on to the PAC conveyors hotspot. 
do the same with this. To test these changes, click the View in New Window button. And here we have can conveyors, pack conveyors, and they've been removed from these overarching areas down here, meaning that if I click on a machine, I'm taken straight to that machine and not a multiple hotspot selection screen.